Hi, parents, caregivers. My name is Natalie, and I am a staff developer at the Teachers College Reading and Writing Project. And just like you, I am a mom. And one of the things that we have really been thinking about as we are at home doing our work is how do we find inspiration for our next writing piece when we really haven't been anywhere? We've been limited to the house and we are starting to run out of ideas. We're running out of ideas to write about. And so I've been thinking about the ways that we can use our environment, the space around us to inspire stories. Now, you might be thinking like, what stories do we have to tell from inside of our home, especially as we've been in our homes for quite a while now? And I was thinking maybe I could give you a couple of places and a couple of tips that might help you find inspiration within your home to get your writer generating ideas, whether it's a narrative piece, an informational piece, or an opinion piece. So for example, um, one way we could do this is to sketch map our home, draw out a little a map of our home. And we could do this just on a quick piece of paper um, or we could be elaborate and make a, a diagram on the computer or a poster board, have fun with it. And then start thinking, what are some of the things that we've done across the past couple of months in our home that could lend themselves to a story? So let me give you an example. So I, in my home, um, we've been trying to figure out new meals to make because we've been cooking at home a lot more. And one of the new vegetables we've been practicing making is spaghetti squash. And so while that seems like such a regular thing, what would I say about that? I was thinking about when I drew out my map of my home, like, wow, we've actually spent a lot of time in the kitchen learning all about this new vegetable. So I was thinking about the types of stories I could write. So the first one, which is narrative, like I could think about a narrative story, could be about the very first day that we all stood around that spaghetti squash and like cut it open and then put it in the oven. And then that anticipation of waiting to see how once it's heated, the inside of the squash looks like spaghetti. We were so curious and we giggled and we laughed. I was also thinking about how that same story could be written for an informational piece. We are now like spaghetti squash experts. So we could write an informational piece that's like all about spaghetti squash or even an informational piece that's like how to cook a spaghetti squash, the great ways to use it in our meals. And then I was also thinking about my writer and how in that moment we could also maybe write an opinion piece about why spaghetti squash is like a better vegetable than another or why everyone should be eating spaghetti squash. So just with that quick example, you can see how when I thought about my space and I thought about what are some things we've been doing, I could take a moment like this time we started eating this new vegetable and think about it across different genres. You could do the same thing anywhere in your home, thinking about the time maybe you had to build a new piece of furniture. Could we tell that story? Could we write all about building that furniture? Could we write an opinion piece about it? Or maybe you're thinking about the moment you were um, like getting packages delivered to your house. And could we write a narrative story about it? Could we write all about delivery services or the best companies to use for delivery services? That could be like an opinion piece, right? So parents, caregivers, while we're in a space where kids are trucking along in their writing and we may hit that moment where it's like, wow, what am I gonna write about next? We can lean into the environment around us. We can pause and say, what are some of the events or stories or just things we've been doing in our home? We could sketch it out, think what's happening in each of those rooms and then start connecting. Could I write a narrative story? Could I write an information piece? Or could I write an opinion piece? Bring some light, bring some enjoyment into their writing and connect it to the things that are happening every day. All right, I hope you enjoy time with your writer and I hope that you can go off to find some inspiration around you in your home.